Welcome to Monomotion tutorial series. In this video, we're going to show you how to import SDK Lite in your Unity project and compile our demo scenes. I have already downloaded the Unity package and I will import it to a fresh project. Though Monomotion does not have a limitation on Unity versions, we highly recommend using official versions only. To import SDK Lite in a project, you can simply drag and drop the Unity package inside the scene. Alternatively, you can go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and select the package from there. Make sure to have all of the components selected and click Import. Unity might take a couple of seconds to complete the process, but after that, your Assets folder should look like this. In order to get familiar with the technology and explore the features of SDK Lite, it's best if you compile the main scene of the package directly to your phone. To do so, open the SDK Lite feature scene found in Assets, Monomotion, Scenes. This example scene includes not only the key components you need for your app, but is also a demonstration of all the features provided. Our editor script running in the background has already made some changes in the project and project settings. So the compilation process of our demos is going to be a straightforward case. All you have to do is open build settings and add open scenes to be built. As a reminder, SDK Lite needs to be compiled into a mobile device. So choose the appropriate platform, Android or iOS, depending on your device. The project settings are set automatically, so you don't have to do anything else. Just go ahead and compile. Now that the application is compiling, it's a great time to let you in on some of the setting changes we have made for you. Monomotion is using a licensing system to track the success of a product. This system takes place in your Unity project in two steps. Step 1 is to register a package name to our website and use it as the package name inside your project. The second step is to take the license key we provide you with in a website and paste it in the Monomotion Manager prefab. In this package, we have provided you with a pair of bundle ID and license key so you can try it out for free right away. The rest of the changes are regarding the preferred architecture and permission requests that we need. You can always see the full list inside the Monomotion setup script. When the app launches for the first time, it will prompt you to give access to the camera. If you are in Android, it will also ask you for permission to the folder of the app. Go ahead and accept both of them so you can try out the application. A short tutorial will guide you the first time and it's always available to activate through the Features menu. We have coded the Features app to be modular so you can activate and try out the features you want. If you want to experience the tracking information, go ahead and enable the Bounty Box, Palm Center or Poi. Same goes for our trigger gestures as well as the gesture analysis tab. We highly recommend to try out all of the features in this application and look in the scripts and code of this scene. Chances are that you can find something you can use out of the box directly in your game. As a final note, we want you to keep an eye on our examples folder. Those are some fun mini games that we're going to be shipping with our SDK Lite. The process of building them is identical with the one you just saw. If you want to keep all of them in your phone, then go to our website and register a new bundle ID for the project. That way the scenes won't override each other and you can monitor your app's success in your license page. That was it for this tutorial. If you encountered any issues, feel free to contact us for support. As always, if you need any help, or just want to share something cool you've made with our tech, post it in a Discord channel or send it through email.